All right, so this project uh, is for Terex Corporation. Uh, we designed a pick to light system for their uh, assembly uh, process. So we uh, assembly worker can uh, quickly and easily find the right parts uh, to pick from their uh, parts warehouse. We've got uh, an electronics bar showing how many parts and where to pick from. So it's very simple, and it works. Our project was to find the uh, pressure between seals for uh, Caterpillar. The uh, main concern was that most 70% uh, of their warranties were paid out on seal failures. So with this uh, project, we were hoping to come up with a sensor in order to measure the pressure between the seals dynamically. And what we came up with was, was this text hand system, which is a resistive material. Uh, piezo resistive, and basically by pressure on this, it changes the resistance of the uh, sensor, and it brings it up here as a wire or as a value, and then you, we can then calibrate that value to give us a actual pressure and force of whatever we're trying to measure. And with that, they're hoping to be able to tell when the seal fails, how it fails, and or to get a little more information on it. Our vehicle fixture for on road data acquisition it's designed to sit in the passenger seat of a vehicle. Um, we have some power inverter and a splitter to power up to four of these LMS data acquisition units. And the laptop will sit on this platform here, which can move back and forth. It's also to rotate to provide the user with a good view of the screen. And also, will sit so the seat, so the screen is level when it's in a vehicle because the seat is actually inside. We have a kickstand leveling feature to provide a level workstation when it's outside of the vehicle. Alright, this is our uh, mistake proof visual market supermarket system. And uh, what this is, is it's a storage flow rack for storing small parts for assembly and hydraulic fittings. How this works is, is we have these LED displays with push to break buttons that's hooked up to a computer that runs an Excel database. A uh, user will come up to the computer, plug in a build code number, and then these LEDs are going to light up to the corresponding bin that he has to pull parts from with the number of parts he has to take from each one. Once he's successfully taken his parts out of each bin, he'll push that reset button, the display will go black, and he will go on down the line. Well, we were developing four uh, thermal science experiments for the mechanical engineering department. Undergraduate students take those courses in their junior year. And the four experiments that we developed, there's a mechanical equivalent of heat here. Students turn a crank and do a bunch of work, and then the, the apparatus turns the work into heat. We're able to measure the temperature difference and, and see the equivalence of heat and work there. We've got an experiment here where we conduct some experiments on the efficiency of a water heater, uh, and then also run through a uh, tube and tube heat exchanger and look at the effectiveness there. We've got an experiment where we run water through a nozzle. We take measurements of the pressure inside and the thrust that it produces. So this would be similar to like a fireman trying to hold on to a hose or something like that and look at uh, what's involved there. And then we take the things we learn here and we apply it to a rocket with water coming out of a nozzle, very similar, uh, but a little bit more uh, the mass is changing and there's more variables. Uh, study the trajectory of the rocket and things like that. So this is the... Uh, this is the device itself. So we've got the... Water heater, the heat exchanger right here, some flow meters, uh, pressure transducer on the back here. This is the water comes out and causes some bending in this beam. We measure that deflection. I really wanted an oil leak uh, measurement system. So basically, they have this setup here, which is called the VSQ. What they do there is they use these uh, metal face seals. They test them. So basically, they help to uh, use uh, dynamic ceiling, so one of them is stationary, the other one is rotating, so these surfaces are really polished, so they make a dynamic ceiling, as they wear out, oil leaks out, so they want to know how much is oil leaking at this, on this ceiling interface. Basically, this test setup that they have for testing seals can do pretty much everything, 
except uh, it can't manage the oil. So they wanted a team or project that, that could actually manage the oil. So our team developed two different systems. One of them is a solid method, actually it's called field oil leakage image calibration and quantification. So this is a calibration piece for the whole system. This is a MATLAB software that uses the same kind of system and quantifies the oil. And the other measurement system is a capacitance measurement system. So the difference between two is that this uses the digital images. So we take a picture of the oil leak. Here you can see the oil leak. So basically, we add UV dye into oil, so it glows under the UV lights, fluorescent lights. We add a dye, take a picture of that, so this is a picture of the oil leak, or you can also see those here. Take a picture of that, upload it into MATLAB, and using uh, intensity thickness curve, we are able to get these values. This is a plot of oil leak. So basically, yeah, this is uh, based on the image processing. Another one is a capacitance measurement, where I apply a capacitor on the seal flange, just like this. And as oil leaks out, oil leaks out and sticks to capacitor, and this capacitance measurement measures the capacitance, and we can say how much oil we have on the capacitor. So those are two different systems developed.